We live in a society where everyone is offended, where social media gives any moron with a track phone in their pocket an opinion. And I've always said, and I will continue to say, that an opinion is not an opinion if it is absolutely stupid as hell and makes absolute zero sense. I did an experiment. I returned to Twitter for the 57th time out yesterday. I had my feed muted due to the radicals that were popping up from their, from their shit being shared and all this type of thing. Retweeted and all this. I couldn't take it. I muted my feed to the point that it was pretty decent actually, but still you had the one every now and then that would that would slip through the cracks and would piss me off almost instantaneously. So I said, fuck this, I'm not dealing with it. I can't do it. That being said, this new Call of Duty has people going crazy over the white phosphorus. The people are bitching and complaining, talking about the game is encouraging war crimes. All these types of things, and it absolutely blows my mind. You can see right here I'm messing with the DPI on my mouse. I'm, the aim is really not that bad. <laughs> I'm fooling with the DPI on my uh, Corsair mouse right here, trying to get it, trying to get it locked in. But anyway, you've got people that are so offended at the white phosphorus kill streak, and I start to think to myself, okay, if white phosphorus kill streaks in encouraging war crimes then what is being encouraged in the tv shows that we watch every day whether it be your reality tv shows where they're they're encouraging these women to be absolute sluts whether it be encouraging these people these young guys and these in these reality shows these youngsters to go into bars and get belligerently drunk and fight and and, and sleep with everybody in sight whether it be the movies that we watch, you got John Wick doing mass homicides because his dog was killed. Are, are we encouraging? What types of things are we encouraging here? See, this is where the whole freedom of opinion is killing society. The social. This is where social media is killing society. Because the fact of the matter is... Conan the Barbarian lopped off people's heads with a giant sword and when I watched it even even recently it did not make me want to go lop someone's head off with a giant sword because this is where you have to draw the line between fiction and reality I feel like the IGN people that posted that they were they would love to have been able to play non-lethal on Call of Duty that you know the game was disturbing to them and made them feel uncomfortable I feel like that is a direct reflection of the soft ass society that we live in today and I think that it is absolutely ridiculous. People saying kids are going to think this is okay. Look, if you aren't raising your kids to know that this white phosphorus that you're using on a video game shouldn't be used in they, they know the difference. You should be raising your kids to know the difference between a video game and real life. They should know the difference between a movie and real life. They should know the difference between a TV show and real life. They should know the difference between anything and real life. And if they don't, and if you're that worried about it, you need to re yourself as a parent and as a person. It's not the video game developer's fault. It's not the movie director's fault. It's your fault. That's all I got on this topic, guys. Leave a comment section. Matter of fact, chime off in the comment section.